not much of a traffic. Oh, Alright. Rats is the same thing. Like, remember we were talking about leather? Heavy leather versus the spring leather, which is prime, you know, spring leather, prime leather, early leather, blue pelts. Uh, rats is all about. <laughs> It's not hard to grade a rat. If it has holes in it, one or two holes in it, back or belly, it's going to go good slight. If it's got three, four holes in the back, three, four holes on the belly, then it's going to go second slight. If it's got lots of holes in it, it's going to go damage. It's not rocket science. Where the part comes in is to determine from a fall rat to a winter rat to a spring rat. And again, that all goes back to the cycle of priming. Okay? They gave me a bundle of rats. See? It's a decent rat, well put up or like that. He's got holes on the belly, you see it? Good slight. It's a good slight, that rat, automatically. You size it on the board, you look at it, it's a good slight, in the box it goes. They're all good slights, like, like that. Now, I'm just trying to find there. There we go. Man, we got one now. Okay, that's a full rat. That's going springy. Actually, that one's going springier. I'm going to find a winter wrap or something like it. This just came from the receiving department, so I don't, it's just one guy. I hope it's not someone's fur I'm looking at. <laughs> they said, that's my stuff he's looking at. That's kind of like a winter, but it's a little bit early. It's not a good, I don't have a good example of a good, good, good winter wrap here. So I'll give you an idea. And I think the guys that trap rats will know what, I, what I'm talking about. You've got fall, winter, and spring. All right, that's a fall rat. Winter rat. <coughs> and this one, and a spring rat. Those are your three leathers that look, you know what I'm saying? The winter rat's not really good because a lot of times they'll be a lot whiter and you'll see that down the back they have those two stripes down the back and the rest of it is a white leather skin and that's a good prime winter rat. I don't have a good example here. But the fall rat, you can see it, it's all modeled. When I say modeling, that's the black blotches and everything around it. It's just, like I said earlier, the leather doesn't lie. It's going to show up in the leather. As soon as I see that modeling, I know it's a fall rat. A fall rat is not going to have good quality fur because it's not pushed out yet. As soon as I see those stripes on the back and the rest of the, the rat is white, it's a winter rat. I know it's prime. And then when you go into spring, you start losing those winter stripes, but you get a nice white leather like that, very papery, and gets very veiny. See the red veins in it? That's because it's going spring. It's pushing out for now and the leather is changing. All animals do that. The leather changes with the fur. All right? So those are the basically the three seasons of the rats. And holes, I mean, this rat's a fall rat, right? But it's also a fall rat with a damage. You've all heard of shatters, the term shatters. That's what this area is. See these round circles right here? It's got modeling on it, you know, but he's got some good circles right here. So this would be not only a fall rat, a fall shedder rat, which would make that a regular slight, which would downgrade it even more. Five minutes, yeah. Okay, that's that's the shedder thing. <coughs> what coyotes for five minutes? Shedder also not uh, indicative of, especially in the spring, of an orange circle. On the yeah, Let me, I have one here. I gotta get. That's the rat you're talking about. This is a spring rat, clean rat, right? Well, it's got a hole in it, so it's a slight. But if you didn't have that hole in, in the belly there, bang, bang. 
That's a good shutter. See those little marks right there? That's a just a minute shedder, small shedder, but it's still there. And what a shedder is, is there's no fur there. It's shallow. It's like a hipper on ranch mate. It's kind of shallowed out. You want to see that rat? Who asked that question? I know about it. Oh, you know about it? Man, nah, just throw the rat at you. <laughs> <laughs> You're a rat. Hey, Dave, Dave, those uh, patterns, those prime patterns on the, we used to be told that that was a to how to tell a juvenile from an adult. That's not the, that's not true? I, most, you know, that's a good question. Most adults, adult rats will have that stripe down. The juveniles will prime up later than the, uh, they take a lot longer for the juveniles to prime okay. up. And that's true with beaver, that's true with muskrats, that's true with any species. The juveniles prime up slower than the adults. Okay. And you're right, the adult rats will have that stripe down the back on the rats, but the juveniles, Generally, your large mediums and medium and small, sometimes they stay blue all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, it was just because it's a juvenile animal, that's why. Yeah, it seemed the opposite. Like, it was, they were, the juveniles were dark in the back with white on the side. Yeah, and you, the, you can have the reverse. Yeah. You can have right. the reverse on them as well. Okay. That was a good question. Glad you brought that up. Hang on. Who wants to do Kyle's for, What's your question on